all right hello everyone and peace of christ all of you i hope my voice coming good and clear uh, i look like today we have uh, not too many people waiting mm. all right those who came first today they will receive extra versions those versions they never been touched by a man nor a genie they are very hot so hot so those who come early Good news for you. Allah, he just texted me, says, listen, those who wake up early waiting for you, my prophet, Christian brands, I will reward them with extra virgins. Before we start, there's Abdul. Uh, he posted a comment, you know, and I cannot really resist the temptation to answer Abdul. You know, Abdul, they are my favorite species between all the species in the world. So this Abdul, he said to me, okay, Christian Brands, hey, Abdul, are you there? Yeah, this is for you. His name is CG, which means sewage or rather no, like something. So CG, he said, if you are a warrior, if you are a warrior for a Christ, defend him. Hmm? Uh, somebody, an atheist just called him a bastard. Uh, listen, uh, CG, I don't know how donkey stupid you are, but obviously your mom, she gave birth to you in the bar. As long you are an atheist like him, or maybe you are a Muslim, I'm not sure. Your mother, she do muta. Why I want to defend Jesus when Jesus is God, and he will send you and send him to hell? Which one is better? What I would do to you? Burn your house? <laughs> That's not smart. <laughs> what about you go to hell, and then your testicles will be enjoying it for the rest of eternity. So my friends, we are believers in God, so we do not need really to defend. I'm not defending God. If you think I'm defending God, you are mistaken. God don't need me. I am just showing people, the gullible people like you, how stupid you are. And as long as you are talking about bastard, if you are an atheist, aren't you all of you are a bunch of bastard? Do you believe even in marriage? An atheist person, he have no problem to have sex with his mother like a goat. In which book, in the book of atheist, it says you cannot have sex with your mom. Can you give me the reference? Hello? So you as an atheist, Abdul, Muhammadan uh, atheist, uh, you are just a bastard. You are the perfect example of, because what does bastard mean? And you know, even if somebody is born as a bastard, just to let you know, it's not his fault. I mean, we are not stupid like you. So even if you are born as a bastard, it doesn't make you bad to me, but you are acting like one, which means it's not like the sex happened before you exist. Your existence is wrong. Anyway, I pray the Lord will forgive you and he will not send you to his oven, and then we will be watching you with the web camera. Anyway, we are Christians, my friend, and we believe in God. God who made you, do you know how he look at you when you insult him? Do you know when a like, little tiny uh, ant look at the bear? And uh, the ant, she said to the bear, <laughs> do you know what I can do to you? I can bite you. <laughs> you don't even look like, a, like an ant. You are just a stupid. So we laugh at you. You don't make us angry. If you think you are making us angry, you are just, you are just a stupid. Anyway, uh, According to scientific studies, the most, the most uh, intelligent people in the world are two kinds of species, atheists and Muslims. Why? Muslims, they believe that a human being used to be human being, but then Allah cursed him and he made him a monkey and pigs. Mm. Why? Because they did fishing in, sat in Saturday. Which makes sense. Atheists, they believe the opposite. So you share a lot of common, in fact, you know. Uh, look at this. Just to show you the similarity between the, uh, the global Muslims and the global... I need to drink water. <coughs> hmm. It is the coffee. <coughs> listen, listen. Darwin, who stole a book he did not even read or uh, write, he claimed that a human being used to be a monkey. Muslims are the opposite. Muslims believe that one day, human being, they used to be human being. 
But because they did fishing on Saturday, Allah made them monkeys. So you see, like you are the two sides of the magnet, the magnet, the positive and the negative. So an atheist is just another dump of the Muslim dump. It's the religion of the gullible. You know, actually today our topic about the gullible, you know, how stupid is a human being to believe in such a story because somebody did fishing in Saturday. God, he made him a pig and a monkey. I mean, look at this God, the God of Muhammad. Hold on, hold on. Or is somebody, you know, the Muslim, they make a reaction video. You see those scammers? To American reaction to the Quran. Like, listen, they are American. That make them special. To American reaction to Quran. Are you serious? Yes, we are American. We are reaction to the Quran. Don't do reaction in camera when you have masturbation, brother. So look at the uh, reaction. Oh, oh, reaction. Ah, that's the action. That is the real reaction. So brother and sister, the gullible Muslim, you cannot fool them. There is a bunch of people. They are Jews. Allah told them, don't fish in Saturday. They went fishing in Saturday. Actually, I witnessed one of my neighbors. His name is Jack Shalom. Hey, Jack, where are you going? He said, fishing, Christian, Prince, Habibi. I said, you idiot. It is Saturday. Don't go. Jack Shalom did not listen. He jumped in his car. He went to do fishing and he came back. Guess what? Guess what? The second he put his foot out of the car, I know that something wrong happened to the man. I did not see a leg of a human, I saw a leg of a chimpanzee. So the global, the global Muslims, they want to con con convince us that Islam is religion, you should have a reaction. Oh, did you see the reaction of this guy with his name? What his name? A sneaker, sneaker. The one you put in your feet. Like here, Nashi is, you know, I have, I have his face in the, in the thumb. On my video, he heard an Ashid brother, and uh, what the heck is that? What happened to that guy? That's um, um, it's like uh, you see the reaction. You don't even understand what they are saying, and they are using uh, uh, a sound equalizer. What the heck is that? This is, must be a religion from God. I mean, who can who can come with such a story? Save God Himself. We have to be honest here, you know. Like I met, there is many religion in the world. Like you know, there is people who they are worshiping Satan. Okay, you know, Satan at least is real. <coughs> he's real, you know, and he's powerful. So they found a reason for them to worship him. But what is the reason to worship Allah? Anything beside you are being gullible. Look at this. Look. Look at this. Praise be to the Lat. I'm going to show you. Hold on, hold on. I'm just uh, look at the face of this sneaker. Look at this, man. This is so beautiful. When a sneaker, he heard the Quran. He didn't, he's not even listening to the Quran. A guy is singing about Islam, supposedly. Look what happened. Like, let me zoom in his face. Look, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. You can tell he is not gullible. I mean, look at the, and look at this beauty. Now the atheists they will use this guy to prove that the origin of a human being is chimpanzee. Look at his face. What is that, man? I mean, your mouth alone is like a watermelon. All of this happened because you heard an Ashid. So what if you hear the fart of the Prophet Muhammad? What's wrong with those people? Like he heard an Ashid. He don't even understand what the Ashid is saying. The guy was saying stupid things. And that is a sneaker. He opened like, hey, what the heck? What the heck is that? <laughs> what a sneaker! <laughs> uh, <laughs> the religion of the gullible look at the other one beside him he is holding the picture of Osama bin Laden if, 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 if. what do you want to do with it a brother just wait 
we are going to do jihad against America and how we do jihad against America by training America where we can find with Saba Bin Laden. <laughs> Just give them $10, they will point their finger at Osama Bin Laden. And this is what happened. <laughs> the guy was hiding between two goats and a bunch of females with chicken and he was watching porn as they saw in his, in his computer. Uh, Pakistani Muslims, they reported to the American where is the Pakistani Uzama bin Laden, who is from Saudi Arabia? Where is he, brother? And then they went there, and uh, you know, you know the shish kebab, hummus, the same as uh, uh, Zawahri, the same as the uh, uh, Saddam Hussein, the same. All of them, they betray each other. This is religion of betrayal. I never saw a single Muslim don't betray his religion. I assure you. Just give them money. Uh, anyway. Uh, this is not really our topic for today, but this religion, how we even can call it religion? I don't know. I will open my Skype to see if there is any can help us. Uh, CP is doing Christian comedy. No, no, this is not comedy. This is a tragedy. I mean, look at those people. They are dying desperately uh, to go to heaven just for the sake of their penis. Yes, 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 this is always about penis. There's no God involved, trust me. The whole idea, it's about penis. This is the penis, penis God, you know. You convert to Islam, brother, what you will get? I challenge any Muslim to tell me one promise is not gullible. Okay, hold on, hold on. I will open this one here. Oh, this is big. I need to make it small. Let me show you the gullible movie. I made a gullible movie. A movie for the gullible. Hold on, hold on. I will play it for you. I should load it in the software so we can play it better, but it's okay. We can play it here. Brother. When you are a Muslim, brother. First of all, you are happy. Look at the faces. You will never see anybody, any nation in the world, showing their teeth as much as Muslims. Always their teeth is out. Is it? This is a good sign of happiness. Look at the teeth. He is so happy. And then the virgins is coming from behind. Oh boy, look at this. Look at the virgin. Do you see how she is walking? This is what he is hoping for. Let me play it again for you. Look at this. So beautiful. Oh boy. Play it again. I cannot resist. I don't know how many of you will convert to Islam now. Look, the versions. There's a lot of those women. They are coming like this. But the, 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 by the way, just disclaimer, the women in the heaven of Allah, their ass will, will be one mile size. Those are very skinny. So don't fool yourself, okay? I'm not giving you a disclaimer. This is not how they will look like. Warning. This is a normal human being. The women in the heaven of Allah can show you the reference. Her ass is one mile. So she will sit in the top of all the Abdul in the town of the Gullabul. And it's, a, it's a very well known in the capital of Pakistan, uh, the Gullabul town. Uh, you know, and she will sit in the top of them and they will disappear inside her anus. Look at this. Oh, and look at the sneaker. Look at the sneaker. Look at the face of a sneaker. He cannot wait for it. So obviously, Islam is not religion of the gullible. I'm going to open my Skype to see if there is any Muslim who want to prove me wrong that Islam is not for the gullible. Shall we do that? Shall we? Let us open our Skype. Where is my Skype? And uh, just to be sure that I have the correct Skype on your side, hold on, let me do this. Because I think I have in my default the wrong Skype I'm using now. Uh, hold on. All right, we will fix it because this is what happened last time. People were texting the wrong Skype. So allow me to fix it. Give me a second. All right. Now we have the correct Skype for you. So if you look at the info, you will see my Skype. 
and this is my Skype again. I will post it for you in the comment, in the chat. So if you are a Mohammedan who think Islam is not for gullible, please call me and get me busted. All right. If we go back to the Quran, forget about the gullible Muslim for now. To show you, look at this face. Look at this face. You know, it, I mean, even those those shakes aren't they ashamed to make such a face just to get a click? Imagine you are a person and you're like 50 years old and you make such a scene just to get people to click at you. At your, I mean, this, this is what this is what kids do. Anyway, listen, listen. Going back to the story of the gullible Muhammad. Muhammad, he is a story collector. Somebody told him a story and. Only Allah knows where this story came from. And here we need to ask the gullible Muslims, as long as Allah will curse somebody for fishing in Saturday, just fishing, it's, listen, he is not even being homosexual or just fishing in Saturday. Okay, so they did fishing in Saturday and Allah made them pigs and monkeys. How come Allah is not making the Jews in Israel for the biggest celebration they have for homosexuality in Saturday, pigs and monkeys, which one deserve to be punished? Hmm? Guys, focus with me, forget about this uh, CG. If he is a man, let him call. We're talking about warrior. I don't know what his belief is. Obviously, he isn't. He's, a, he's just a little kid. He's just trying to take your attention from the topic. And maybe he is successful. Just ignore him. I mean, just to block him. Send him to Allah, free shipping and handling. If he is a man, let him call me. He's talking about warrior. Yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't even dare to call me. Shame on you. What kind of mama you have? Hmm? What kind of mama you have? Obviously, she did not give birth to you from her vagina. She dropped you from her anus. You smell, buddy. So focus with me. Yeah. So the question to the global, global Muslims, you know, well, listen, I am not, I'm making a claim. I have to prove it. It's not proven yet. Like every Muslim is not uh, guilty until you prove the opposite. Okay? Uh, so now we have a story in front of us speaking about those Jews who did fishing in Saturday. And Allah decided to punish them. Let us type here the word Sabbath, which means Sabbath. Mm. A Sabbath. Oh boy, oh boy, look at this. Look at, I mean, the search engine is so stupid, man. I type Sept, it shows me everything except what I'm looking for. All right. Mm. Muhammad, he keep talking about the Sept, the Sept, the Sept, the Sept. Those who, uh, but the story is here in this chapter, chapter six. Mm. Uh, sorry, this is not, uh, not uh, the one we want. Give me a second. Uh, let us see, huh, here we go, chapter 7, chapter 7, verse number 163. Look at this story. Actually, there's a website, made a cartoon, but I don't know where to find it. Very nice drawing. Ask them about the town by the sea. Guys, I mean, I don't know if you are so good in geography. I mean, it's obviously, we know where the town now. You know what I mean? It's just a town by the sea. Isn't it this is easy to find? Just be honest. Ask them about the town by the sea. This is a very well-known town. It's a town by the sea. So, now we know the GBS location. We know which country. We know which ocean. We know who live there and what language they speak. It's just a town by the sea. Okay, that's clear. It's simple, clear, you know. So ask them, and hold on, why why we want to ask them? I mean, ask them. Allah is asking us to ask them. Okay, okay. Uh, black pole? No, no, what the black pole, man? Like this guy, this guy, he have a too much fantasy imagination. Black pole? Are you crazy? This is a, the city, the town by the sea. It's very known. Okay, if you could not find the answer for which town, ask Joe Biden, you say to you, he would say to you, you know the thing. It's very simple. So listen, ask them about the town by the sea when they violated the Sabbath. 
Look at this, how conservative this God. You violate the Sabbath? Oh. Hey, Muslims, aren't you violating the Sabbath? What's wrong with your God? So if the Jews violate the Sabbath, you Muslims, you don't have Sabbath at all. You, you know, you worship a Friday. The day of fingering. You know, guys, when I used to be a kid, I see adult men coming from the mosque, and the Lord is my witness. They put finger in the anus of each other when they are coming out from the mosque. Supposedly they are joking, right? But this is jo jokers of, of the savage, trashy. And I was asking myself, how adult men, they are like they are old, they are not even uh, uh, like 30, or we are talking about men who have a gray hair. They are fingering each other in the street. Anyway, may Allah finger you, Muhammad. All right. So here, the town by the sea, uh, those uh, people, they violated the Sabbath. Mm, uh, we have serious. You see, in the, in the Old Testament, if somebody violated the Sabbath, the punishment is severe. But Muslims don't believe in the Old Testament. And how come Allah, he made that violation so severe for the Muslims, for the Jews, but is not for the Muslims? <laughs> how come the Okay, hold on. The Muslim, they might say to you, Allah changed the day for the Muslim for Friday. Oh, okay. So still you should not work on Friday. Change it, the day will not change anything. And why it is the most respected day for Allah, Saturday, and then he changed his mind and he make it right. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's let it go, man. ACG, are you there after you're being blocked? How it feel to be under the feet? Mm. Okay, enjoy it. So listen. Uh, so they violated the Sabbath, and when they observed the Sabbath, their fish would come to them suddenly. That's like a story. Mm. So during the whole week, the fish doesn't come. They are observing the sea. Where is the fish? Where is the fish? Looking for the fish. To put it in my dish. My name is Jack Shalom. I'm hungry like a fish. Allah made the fish run away. Far, far, far away. Where are you, Mrs. Fish? Please come to my dish. I'm so angry, I want to eat you. Shame on Allah, shame on you. And then Allah, He bring the fish only in Saturday. And the fish, she jump in the top of the water doing belly dance like, ah, 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 ah. I'm the fish, you can touch me, it's a Saturday. Ah, ha, ha. Look at the story. This is not for the gullible. No. This is a true story for smart people. This is not for the gullible. By the way, if you don't believe this is what it says, you can open any interpretation. Huh? Do you remember the guy who called me yesterday, this Abdul Potato? The second we show him Ibn Kathir, he says, Ibn Kathir is a human. <laughs> oh, Muhammad is not a human. He is a human. So why you take what he say? When they want, he is a human. When they want, he is amazing. I mean, a human. Yeah. Anyway, so is Allah is a human now? Is he making a global, a global statement? So listen, the fish come in Saturday. She play ballet. You know ballet? Yeah. She jump in the top of the water. Ta 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 ta. Come and touch me if you can. Ta 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 ta. And those Jews like, what the heck? It's Saturday, we cannot do anything. So the fish, they go, and Allah made them do say, you know, like this is not their choice. So they go, and they have they disappear the whole week. Those Jews, they go, hey, Jacques, Shalom, Habibi, do you see anything? I don't see nothing, Shalom to you. It's a very bad day, you know? And to weave a singer, you know, he's, he's a Jew, but he's blonde anyway. Uh, uh, he says to them, Prophet Muhammad, him, he was very famous better person. And he actually, he discovered the story of the fish. Oh, okay. Uh, so thank you to Weaver Singer. Uh, perfect. So, uh, so the fish disappeared the whole week by the will of Allah and come to them in Saturday only. So Allah is testing the Jews. By what? By starving them. Then the Jews, they cannot take it no more. They have kids to feed, hello. So they decide to do fishing in Saturday. And look, Allah is watching. They don't know what the trap. They don't know what's going to happen. You know those Jews, I think they thought, 
Allah will punish them by make them drink camel urine. I mean, like, okay, if he got angry, he will make us drink camel urine, like the same he did to the Muslim. Or the best scenario, you know, I mean, we take a shower with dead water, water have dead dogs and women blood from period, and stinky garbage like Muhammad. No. Allah have a different plan. He decide to make them pigs and monkeys. Now, by the way, in one verse in the Quran, it says monkeys, other verse says pigs and monkeys. But Muslims, which one? I mean, is it fair? At least make the whole town pigs. So now what? The guy become a pig, his wife became a monkey. I mean, that's not fair. How they can even have sex together after that? Mm -hmm. How they can communicate? So the husband became chimpanzee, the wife became a pig, and versa versa. Listen, this is true, true story. I, I, I hope everybody uh, can, you know, respect uh, the, the, the true story. This is not for global. No, this is a true story. There's many witnesses for it. And, uh, you know, myself, I can witness too many things. Look, listen, listen. If we type here, Al Khanazir. And by the way, Khanzir supposedly is a bad animal, right? But I assure you, Khanzir don't do what Muslims do. So here you will see, in different chapter in the Quran, Allah changed his mind. He did not make them pigs only. He made them pigs and, and, and sorry, uh, uh, monkeys only. He made them monkeys and pigs. Look at this. Say Muhammad. He, by the way, he did not say Muhammad. This Muslim adding there. That's why you see two bracket. Say Muhammad to the people of Scripture. That's us. The funny is, the Muslims, they say that our scriptures is corrupted and the stupid Muhammad, the gullible Muhammad, keep calling us the people of the scriptures. It's like calling Sam Shamoon, the guy with the hair. I mean, either we have hair or we don't have hair. What do you say? <laughs> Unbelievable. What a stupid prophet. How, we, our, how Muslims say that our scriptures is corrupted and the stupid Muhammad and his Allah keep calling us people of the scriptures? Mm. Oh boy, oh boy, unbelievable. Anyway, so, so Muhammad now, he want to tell us a story which we do not know. Okay, Muhammad, tell us. Uh, shall I inform you of something? What is then that? You should, what the heck is that? Regarding the re, uh, recompense? What? Recompense? What the heck? This is heavy duty word. I don't know how to read it. From Allah? Those between two brackets, look, you know, I, I like to be between two brackets. I mean, I, I feel jealous now from the Jews. Allah, he put you between two brackets. Look at this. You are now in the eye of Allah. Which incurred the curse of Allah and his word. Those whom, huh, they are adding word to the Quran, is not there. It doesn't say some. Uh, anyway, Muslims, the religion of some. Uh, he transformed into monkeys and swines. Look, in the other chapter, it says only monkeys. I, you know, I'm guessing that in the other chapter, Allah, he forgot. You know, I mean, look, at even translation says apes. I saw this movie, it's an old. It says monkeys, what apes? It says qirada. Why you don't, uh, if you change the translator, you will see the Muslims say qirada. Let us see, let us see. Maybe we have a Muslim want to communicate with us. Uh, your God is what? Why you block me? Your God like it to do trio. Sharmuta. A Muslim is talking to me. He is telling me the name of his mother. His name, mother name is Sharmuta, brother. You should not use your name, mother name in public. Please. All right. I mean, look how gullible they are. He think now he is making me angry. Obviously, you are the one who is getting angry. You can say whatever you want. Still, your God cannot make me a pig or a monkey. We laugh at him. I mean, if a person, he did fishing on Saturday, your God made him a pig. How come your God cannot make me a pig right now? Hold on. I don't know. I feel like I want to scratch my... Oh, guys, oh, right away, Allah, he did something to me. Oh, okay. Banana, banana, banana. You, you see them, the gullible Muslims? Oh boy. May Allah curse you. May Allah destroy you. And the one is destroyed is the Muslim. Look, 
you Pakistani Muslims, you attack Christians almost every year. And every year, the curse of God come upon you. How many people get killed last year from flooding? And I predict, and I'm not a prophet, I don't pretend to be like Muhammad, but I predict that the curse of Jesus will come upon you this coming year soon. And let us see how the Lord will reward you for burning his churches. Just wait. Huh? Take it from me. What will happen to you next year, this year? When I say this, I mean next year, I mean we give it a 12 month from now. This year, what will happen to you is the curse you brought upon yourself for burning the churches of Christ. So your stupid God, he claimed that you, because some Jews did not respect Saturday, he made them pigs and monkeys. So what about your Muslims acting like this, burning churches and killing a human being and kidnapping children from their families? What God will do to you? Our God is not a God of fiction. He do as he say and he say as he do. So just wait. And just last year, your government were begging for food. We are desperate. We don't have money. The flood destroy us. Wait for the coming of flood. Just wait. God will cover you by wealth. Take it from me. And you will see. Now we go back. Then when they rebelled against the commands, you know, okay, Allah said to them, be monkeys. Let us change the translation. Hold on. Translation. It doesn't say ape, it says monkeys. I know some of you will say, isn't it ape and monkey is the same? No, it should say monkeys. You know, we don't have something called ape in Arabic. What the heck is that? What ape? May Allah ape you. Okay, hold on. But here they are saying ape again. Yeah, but in Arabic it says qirada. However, you will see here how Allah, the gullible Allah, or the gullible Muhammad, in one chapter he says Allah made them pigs and monkeys, the other chapter says he made them only pigs. Which one? Which one? Hmm? You tell me. And in the same time, who in the world want to believe such a stupid story? Because if this is really what happened, then this God should be consistent. Right? Anyone break Sabbath? At least from the Jews, he should do the same. Otherwise, it's not just to do it to the village by the town, not to do it to Israel. Israel. How many Jews in Israel today, they are atheists and they don't practice Sabbath? When Allah is going to make them pigs and monkeys? Hmm? When? Any Muhammadan? And you Muslims, you sign peace agreement with the pigs and monkeys? Is that because you fear them? Let me see if there's any Mohammedan in Skype is trying to contact me. Uh, yeah, I see no Muslim. Uh, okay, the, the guy who asked me a question yesterday, I could not understand him. I think, is that the same person? Okay, I saw a video of a Muslim who also fight for polarity. Those who they are called moderate, explaining about the hadith. The explanation says that uh, levels in Sahih, even Sahih. Let me show you what this uh, brother he is showing me here. Even though it's going to be a waste of time to talk about it, but just to show you an example. He said the explanation that there are levels of Sahih. Who care about this level of Sahih or no level? He is saying to you that we Muslims are a bunch of liars. Because if the hadith written about Muhammad, written, printed by them, and now they are saying what we print and what we preserved is a fraud, that means they are preserving fraud. So, uh, you know, when a Muslim, he says to you those excuses, we love that is additional you know, reason to believe Islam is a fraud. You see, Islam is based on the Hadith and the Quran. In fact, the Hadith more than the Quran. So, if the Muslim they say to us the Hadith is not preserved, that means the religion is not preserved. And who is the one who decide 
who is approved, who is not. You will find the same hadith. It says sahih in one book. It says da'if in different book. The same exact story. <laughs> depend, you know, depend who is the agenda, you know, the agenda, everyone have his own agenda. Uh, anyway. Uh, don't send me links, don't send me videos, otherwise I will block you. If there is any Muhammad and he think he is not gullible to believe in such a story, let me know. And you know, I'm not saying that God, he is capable of doing any of those things. No, God can make all mankind, if you want, pigs, if you wish. Sure, why not? But if God is justice, then God, he should be consistent and do what he should do for breaking the same law. So, if the Jews, they break Sabbath and then God, he himself made them break Sabbath, actually. Just to show you the hypocrisy of the stupid Muhammad. Those Jews here, they broke the Sabbath because why? Because they are hungry. Allah, he made the, the fish disappear, you know, uh, for the whole week. The whole week, there is no fish. You read the story, you will see Allah, actually even the Quran said it clearly, that Allah made the Jews see the fish only in Saturday. So they will starve and they will do it. But if you go in the Quran, you will find in chapter 5, the same chapter we are talking about, saying it's forbidden for you to eat pork. But if you are hungry, you can. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying and proving to you. The God of Muhammad is a faith, a stupid idiot. Because if somebody is hungry, based on the Quran, chapter 5, verse number uh, 3, he can break the command of Allah and eat as he wish, including pork. It's in front of you. I'm not making things up. If you are forced into hunger, then there is no problem. It's in front of you. But this is exactly what happened to the story of the Jews. Allah forced them into hunger. And this is why they could not wait longer because they have family to support them. So they did fishing on Saturday. Are you with me? Do you notice why we laugh at Muhammad? If the reason is hunger for those people, you know, uh, the Muslims to eat pork, okay, this is the same reason the Jews, they did fishing on Saturday. How four billion, the Muslims, they became four billion. What is that? Are we talking about rabbit? I mean, where people, they bring those numbers. Four billion. The Muslim today is four billion. What the heck? <laughs> the Muslim today is not even 500 millions. <laughs> you see, the numbers they give you in the internet is very funny and stupid. Everyone give you his own number. What they do, they calculate the whole country. It's like Iran, Muslims. Bangladesh, Muslims, India, Muslims. I mean, everybody is Muslim. But if you go in reality, not a single Muslim in those Muslim countries. Even in Pakistan, not a single Muslim in Pakistan. My friend, go and see what they practice and then come back to me and you will see that in Pakistan, there is no Muslims. As an example, oh, no, they are, they are Muslims. <laughs> there is some. How many in Pakistan, they practice a child marriage? If they do, those are Muslims. Find the percentage, then you will know who is a true Muslim because that's what the Prophet did. 
How many in Pakistan they wash their ass with rocks? If you find the percentage, let me know. Those are true Muslims. How many in Pakistan they jump in water, have dead dogs and women of blood from period? If they do, those are Muslims. You know, they, we can continue until tomorrow talking about who is a Muslim, who is not. But those, uh, you know, numbers, people, they say they are very funny. Christianity is the biggest faith on earth and we are almost three, 3 billion human beings. Muslims is way behind and actually Islam is collapsing in Islamic countries. Like, did you see what happened in Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia, this is like the core of Islam. Where people just a few years ago used to be forced to go to the mosque. They forced them literally. Actually, even if you are not in the street, if they notice, your neighbors notice that you are not coming to the mosque, they will report you to the police. The police will send you an, like a, an invitation to the station to investigate you to the uh, Sharia uh, police. And they will ask you why you are coming to the mosque. You have to give them a reason. You're sick, you have to prove it. Ramadan, everybody have to close, everybody have to fast. Now, go to Saudi Arabia. Now, women wearing no hijab. Now, there is belly dancing. Now, there is night clubs. I mean, Erdogan moved to town. And we can talk about Turkey the same. You know, Erdogan is a sheikh. He keep talking about, uh, uh, you know, uh, Quran, Allah, they're burning the Quran. He's so angry, but he's not angry from his daughters, the Turkish girls, going naked in the street and doing prostitution. In fact, once uh, somebody told me about why I don't download uh, an app, he mentioned the app for me, and I did. He said there's some Muslim trying to do uh, promoting Islam there. 90% of people who they are, they were Turkish. And Every single female I saw there, she have her phone number printed and she is wearing something inappropriate. I will type like nightlife Saudi Arabia. A few years ago, if you type nightlife in Saudi Arabia, you will find nothing. I mean, are you kidding me? What nightlife? It was even forbidden to have a musical instrument because Muhammad, he forbid it. Right now, if we type uh, the same word, you know, musical instrument, or sorry, uh, uh, nightlife. Look at the nightlife, you know, nightlife. Look at this. Unbelievable. This is Jeddah. Guys, this is Jeddah. Do you see? Oh, let me show you the video here in the, in the left. Do you see this? This is Jeddah. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. This is Jeddah? Oh boy, I want to go to Jeddah. This is just a few kilometers away from Mecca. This is Saudi Arabia. We are, we are, this is, look, here, it says Jeddah Night Club. Oh boy. Okay, let us go to more night clubs. So, I mean, I mean, so, you know, when they say Islam and Muslims, look, this guy, this uh, Saudi, is the... <clears throat> He's just hitting in this woman. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. They don't do that. You know, they don't. This is the religion country, you know. Yeah. So when people, they say, uh, you know, religious country and religious Muslim, and they count everyone in Saudi Arabia as a Muslim, the reality is totally the opposite. Drugs, hashish, prostitution, homosexuality, you name it. If I type right now, hold on, let me type something for you. An experiment, experiment. Can we? Can we do experiment? If I type... Homosexual. In Arabic. Actually, if you want, you can watch TED. You know? Uh... I mean, I don't know what to show you. Oh boy, that's too much. No, 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 no. Ah, no, no. Oh, what the heck is that? What the? Yeah, uh, what? The? Okay, this one is more decent. 
this is Saudi Arabia, my friend. I mean, this is so beautiful. It's, uh, you know, like, okay, uh, you know, I mean, so in, in, uh, uh, in one hand, they say to you that they are, uh, you know, uh, uh, maybe this is not even a Saudi, I don't know. Let us see. I want to show you a Saudi one. Give me a second. There is tons of them, actually. Oh, look at this. This is a Saudi. Shufu, 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 fufu, mufu, mufu, shasha, fufu, kaka, kufu, ala, lufu, hu, 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 fu, fa, fa, fufu, tita, fufu, la, la, lufu, la, ba, bufu, ha, ha, hu, 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 ba, fufu, da, 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 bufu. But anyway, this is a religion of Allah, subhanallah, wa ta'ala, uh, and they are, you know, very decent, and they don't do anything wrong. Nightlife is okay, drugs is okay. And uh, let us go now to night life in Turkey. Oh, hold on, let me go to Adawa channel. Okay, hold on. I want to go to Dawa channel. I'm typing in different language. Why? Hold on. I showed you this before. Actually, this guy I mentioned his name in my book, you know. Uh, very beautiful, you know. I should, actually, I like to do that one like this. You see, uh, when you see this is a, in the program TV, somebody promoting religion. Let us, uh, give me a second, let me make it more suitable for you. So, uh, when you see this, this is an Islamic TV. This is not any TV. This is an Islamic TV. And the purpose of it is to promote uh, uh, the Quran. Uh, but nobody get upset. Look at this. Look at this. Top 6 Adnan Oktar. Look, look guys. Look at my admin and look at the admin there. Look at Phil. Look at Alfred. Those are the admins. I mean... I have no lie. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm going to fire them all. Now you know why I fire you all in the other channel. Look, and here even, look at this. This is an admin I would like to have. Subhanallah. Smash Allah. Those, those breasts are really, they will bring a lot of customers here. Hmm? So, you know, if you, this is Islamic Dawah TV. This is not a TV for prostitution. No. This is Adnan Oktar, Imam Sheikh Adnan Oktar. You know, I mean, look at the admin I have. I'm mean, I admin, mean, go all of you. But please don't, don't even show up here again. I, I, you're fired. Look at this. What the heck is that? What? Wait, wait. No, where? Where are you going? Why you put the banner there? I cannot see anything. Shame on you. What the heck? Yeah. Okay. That's what is that? Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, okay. Okay, you know what? I'm uh, okay. Uh, enough. Oh, there's even boys too. Ah, and look, look. Actually, here it says oven, oven. Now I understand the title. I was looking like what oven in, in Turkish mean? Oven, oven, oven. Huh. What the heck is that? I mean, this is Islamic channel. You should not go to the oven. Now, now I know why it's an oven. I look at this oven, and look at the other oven. Yeah, a lot of oven. Look at this oven here. This is a serious oven. Yeah, I mean, all oh, the, the one in the left is like, I don't know how hot she is, but I think the one in the right is more oveny from the one in the left. And look, the sheikh is just uh, lecturing them, you know, subhanallah, subhanallah. Uh, just be respectful. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Go change your look and I will be respectful. Look at the dance. Look at this. Anyway, but all of this, brother, all of, look at this. Oh, boy. That is Dawa. That is Dawa channel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just to the right. More. Left. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is my channel. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, look at those Dawa. Those are Dawa, too. You know, those are, look at, look at those faces. Subhanallah. Very, very good looking. We just moved from Turkey to Morocco. And look what happened. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Yeah. Uh, oh boy, look at this. Yeah. Anyway, so 
uh, enough is enough, man, because those guys are really... So, when the Muslim, they say Islam, which country, Muslim country, practice in Sharia law? You see, as a Christians, uh, we don't have a country under the uh, law of Jesus. We don't. And Christianity is exist without law of government. Why? Because it's depend on you as a believer to practice what should you practice, not enforcement of somebody. Moses, when he was a king and a ruler and a prophet for his people, so he enforced the law on his people because he was their leader. For us as a Christians, we follow the law of God voluntarily, and this is a tree for you know, true followers of God. Because if you force people, you can force all the nation not to drink. But people still drink. So maybe they will hide themselves. In order to know really who is the true believer who is not, give them freedom. With the freedom, you know who is a believer who is not. The one who wants to stay Christian, he stay Christian. The one who will leave, he leave. Right? Uh, anyway, guys, I need to take a shower. But my water is not clean. I don't have dead dogs and women of blood from period and stinky garbage. So Muslims, your God, he punished the Jews. He made them pigs and monkeys for fishing in Saturday. Mm. Another live stream? That's deep. Yeah, we did not go in the ocean yet. Just wait. This is not deep yet. Oh, just wait. Yeah, actually, do you want to go in the ocean? Let us see the global stories of Muhammad. Do you remember the story of uh, Al-Khudr? When the whale of Al Khadr jump from the basket of Moses, you know, I don't know how big Moses was, but he was carrying a whale in his basket. Looked like at that time Moses was so big. So, uh, anyway, they arrived to the, next to the fountain of youth, it was fountain of life, sorry. How many people we have watching now? Look like today we don't have too many people. We have only like less than a thousand, and we have nine, five hundred ninety-six uh, likes. Mashallah. I mean, look how people support me. They don't do comment when we finish. They don't do uh, 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 anything, you know. And even liking, they don't give a like. I mean, look, only five hundred ninety-seven. They remember we should give a like. Well, you need to tell them. Uh -huh. Like a lot told them. Okay, listen, if you don't give me a like, Allah will make you a pig or a monkey. Just go do it right now, otherwise the worth of Allah is coming upon you. There's a person, I will tell you a true story, by the way. There's a person, he come to my channel. I told him to give a like. Do you know what happened to him second day? I'm serious. A Muslim record me, post in your channel. Second day, because he did not give me a like, he come back and nothing happened to him. Unbelievable. So I said, okay, you know what? May Allah curse you and make you like a donkey. But when they come back, nothing happened to him. True story. So I said, okay, may Allah uh, make you look like me, you know? For they come, he looks so even way good, man, unbelievable. What the heck? He don't look at me at all, like at me at all. So I, I give up. Since then, I give up saying to people any threat, like you have to give me a like, otherwise you are in trouble, you know? Because Allah is doing nothing. So I need to find a different method to, co to convince people to uh, give us a like. Okay, so like, okay. So, uh, uh, okay. You know, okay, may the pink panther Allah curse you. All of you for not giving me a uh, like, you know, so that not, uh, you know, the pink panther. All right. Ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -da -da -da. Okay, so listen, listen. The fountain of life, that a story by itself. Who can imagine that the part of the Caribbean is coming from the 
from from Muhammad peace be police be upon him. Listen, this is not a story of the gullible. No. No. This is a smart story. I'm just trying to find you the story. Hold on, hold on. What is the story? Uh, this website show you things you have you don't need to see. I just received it. The message says, uh, sorry, I have to tell you, after you curse me for not giving you a like, uh, I lost one tooth. Oh boy. Uh, obviously, you lost your tooth because of not brushing your tooth, not because of me. Hello, don't, uh, don't sue me now. So now, listen, listen. Uh, what is the name? Ben Noon, hold on. Let's see if we can find this. <sighs> oh boy. What I can find you, you know, I need to find you the story. Uh, <clears throat> All right. Let us see. Where is the story? Where is the story? All right. And you will see that the Muslims, when you show them those stories, they try to run away from it. We are having difficulty to find the hadith. Excuse me. Yeah, the problem with this website, it doesn't give you the exact what you are searching for. It will give you anything. Have, uh, you know. Uh, okay, you know what? Let me search for this. Yeah, this is even will be more horrible. Let us try something else. The Google help a lot because if you want to search in the library, you have to remember the name, uh, I mean the page number, the chapter number to find the book here. Uh, it's a lot easier, you know. Uh, but the website, the Muslim design, it's very horrible. So when you search for the exact sentence, it doesn't show you uh, what you're looking for right away. Let us see. Let us try this. If there is any Muslim who want to prove to us that he is not gullible, as I am saying, please feel free. All right, I, I guess we found it. Hmm. Here in this story in front of us, you will find something very funny and very stupid. The whole story is stupid. There's no, nothing, you know. Uh, 
But I find it very astonishing that the Mohammedan, they reach the point that they believe that there is a fountain, literally, if you drink from it, that fountain will make you stay alive forever. Uh, this is the first story here in Al Bukhari, as you see. Let us see the second story. And this is Al Bukhari too. Uh, let us see. Where is here? We go. Here you see, if you see with me, it says there is an, a spring of water called Al Hayat. Spring of water called Al Hayat. So if you click at this page here and you search for the word spring in English, I will, I will post the link for you. Spring. All right. And let me pause the link for you so you can see it. This is Al-Bukhari 4727. Four, Took us a little bit of time to find it, but we found it. Thank God. Look at this. Do you agree with me that you have to be a gullible a human being to believe in such a thing? Muslims? That there is a messenger, his name is Moses, sent by Allah. To other messenger, his name is Al Khudr, which means Mr. Green. And Mr. Green, he earned his name because he drank from the fountain of youth. I have a microphone, I keep fading apart. All right. So Allah told Moses, I'm going to send you to learn about me more to a long, long distance journey. So uh, Musa, he said to Allah, what the heck? I am going to learn from somebody else. I thought I am the most knowledgeable. <laughs> no, 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 you are not. <clears throat> you are not. So Musa, uh, Allah told him, take with you a whale, put him in your basket. And when the whale fell down, like disappear, you will know that you arrived. Here in you is the lesson in logic and reason, also sarcasm. And monkey, I really enjoy listening to you. Uh, Abdul may not know it, but you need to be saved. Okay, thank you, Michael. Thank you. I know, you know, because of my English is not good. I thought you are like calling me names or something, you know, like here in you. Is a lesson in logic and reason, also sarcasm. That's a Quran, my friend. How you can do my Quran? That's you just made Quran. You got mail. Michael, your name is fishy. Your name is Michael. Are you are you sent by Allah? And you just deliver for me a Quran? I have a bad news for you. You should deliver to me a voice of a bell. Like jungle bells, jungle bells, jungle all the way. Muhammad did, Muhammad did, just say, hey, ooh, jungle bells, and Christmas in August, that's not right. Anyway, everything can happen to the Arab, you know, we are Arab, we have a special calendar. So listen, so uh, 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 Prophet Muhammad, he been informed by Allah, a story about prophets who exist long, long time ago. Allah send Musa to learn the like education, education course, you know, education course. Listen, if you are, you are not a global, global, no, 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 no. You cannot be a global and a Muslim at the same time. It's impossible. A Muslim global? <laughs> That's a good one. All right. So here it says, I say to Ibn Abbas, blah, 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 I claim that Musa of Bani Israel was not Musa, the companion of Al Khadr. Ibn Abbas says, Allah, enemy, tell us a lie. So this is Musa. Uh, 
because the Jews they were saying, "What are you talking about? Musa never did this. What al Khadr?" Anyway, so here you will see that uh, Musa he stood in the Friday sermon, brother, to teach the believers. So he delivered a sermon. You know, you know, Musa is a Jew. Habibi Jack Shalom. First of all, praise be to Allah, the All Merciful. I'm a Muslim Musas, and therefore we have to do child molestation before we start the sermon. How many of you Allah blessed him today with a child to have boom boom with him? Put your hand up, not your penis. Look, what are you doing? Jack Shalom, put your penis. No, your hand. I know that you use that, not your hand, to molest a child, but that, okay, change the topic. But then Moses, uh, uh, one person, who said, uh, Moses, he said, uh, uh, who is the most learned person among the people? Who is the most learned person among the people here? Moses replied, huh, I am the most learned person here. Then Allah admonished Musa, like, kyo, 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 stupid Musa, jow, kyo, 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 you know? And then, for he did not ascribe all the knowledge of Allah. So if Allah got busted, like Allah is, uh, is pissed off. You don't piss Allah off. You piss Allah off, you lose Jerusalem and give it to the Jews. Uh -huh. For he did not ascribe all the knowledge to Allah only, then come to the divine inspiration. Yes, one of our slaves at the junctions of the two sea. Do you know what the translation is? This false translation. It's correct and false. He is talking about Al Bahrain. You know the country is called Bahrain? Bahrain, Bahrain. This is what they are talking about. This is a story, fiction story. Uh, many of you heard of it. You can go and look for it. It's called the story of Gilgamesh, the legend of Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh, he was searching for a truth and he was searching for the fountain of youth so he can live forever. Uh, this is where the story came from. So he went to the Bahrain and supposedly in the Bahrain there is a person who his name is Al Khadr. Why he's called Al Khadr? Allah will send him, send Musa to Al Khadr, so he can learn from him. Al Khadr called Al Khadr because he drank from the fountain of youth, and since then he never died. According to Muhammadan, Al Khadr, uh, called that name because he drank from the fountain of youth, and he, when he sit his ass on any land, underneath of him when he stand up, it will become a green, full of grass. All right. This is where the name of Al-Khadr is coming from. You have a question refuting the Trinity? Oh, okay. My friend, uh, you know, instead of refuting the Trinity now, what about refuting us with the fountain of youth? I mean, look guys, a Muslim is speaking about logic. Big Muhammad, you are so small. As long as you can refute the Trinity, hmm? Can you refute the fountain of life? A person who speaks about logic, you see he's trying to be logical. A Muslim, a Muhammadan trying to be logical. A person he believes his God will make his penis endless is logical. A person believe in the fountain of youth, you drink from it, you live forever, which means there is no need for God. You can have eternity by drinking water. <laughs> a person who believes that a whale is dead, drunk water, he come back to life, is it trying to be log logical? So look. I have a question to refute the Trinity. Since many is mother, mother of, since what? Since Mary is the mother of God, does that make Mary the mother of a grandmother of God? This guy, he keep coming here saying the same stupid thing. And we laugh at him. Brother, since Mary is the mother of Jesus, does that make her the wife of Allah? Because Allah is the one who made Mary pregnant. <laughs> Just get out of here, son of Muta. Silly, like your prophet. Isn't it your God, Allah? Supposedly, He put His mouth on the vagina of Mary in order to make Mary have a baby. 
Is that how God he have sexual intercourse in Islam? By putting his mouth there? If you dare challenge me, I will show you the verse from the Quran. It says, Nafakna fi farjiha. We breathe into her vagina. So your God, according to your religion, he have sex with Mary by putting his mouth there. Now we knew where this is coming from. Men putting their mouth there. Aha, from Allah. And listen, I don't say things without proof. I don't, I don't want to change my topic, but just to show you how stupid you are. If I type the word farjaha in the farj book, the vagina book. Am I lying? And you will see how the Muslim they fake the translation to cover it up. You know? Suddenly the word farjaha is not her vagina. Chapter 2, verse number 91, it says farjaha. Farjaha. Huh? And now let us see. Nafaktu hmm. <laughs> fihi. You remember we asked them Abdul before how Allah he breathed? He uh, said uh, Allah don't breathe. Like Abdul, the Quran says Allah he breathed. No, Allah don't breathe. It says Allah he breathed. It, no, it doesn't say breathe. It's in the front of you. So all of this in the front of you, Allah he breathed. And why he breathed? Specifically in the vagina. Huh? Read with me, read, read, read. Huh? As an example, this one not limited. Chapter 66. Why this is not 69? That must be 69. There is a mistake in the number. I mean, the mouth of Allah is down there. You read with me here, it says. And remember, Muslims are logical. So Allah could not create Jesus except by putting his mouth on the private part of Mary. And this is how he made Jesus. But look, the same stupid Muhammad in different verse in the Quran, he said the opposite. He said Allah did not do that. Allah, he said, be, and it was. Read with me carefully. You see, you just bring him to your prophet. Yeah, thank you. Chapter 3, verse number 59 says, The similarity of Jesus, Isa supposedly, there's no Jesus by the way, there's Isa, we do not know who's Isa. But we will go with it. The, the very likeness of Isa before Allah is the likeness of Adam. He created him from dust and he said to him, Be, and he was. Huh? Isa was from dust? And Allah, he said, be, and he was. So why he is breathing there? Was Adam even created from dust? And, or like, how you say he is created from dust? And then you say, he said to him, be, and he was. Because the story in the Quran says, Allah, he mixed dust with water. He made a clay. And then he fashioned the clay. And then he made the clay dry for 40 years. And after that, he breathed into it. There is no B. So as you see, all of those stories does not make sense because they are opposing each other. How Allah He created Adam by breathing and mixing mud. How Allah created Jesus by breathing into Mary vagina. There is no dust. So how you say He are similar? And neither Adam, neither Muh uh, 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 Jesus, according to the Quran, are created by same B. Because if He said B, there is no need to breathe in her vagina. And there is no need to use your hands to create Adam. You just say bees. Hmm? The God of bees. Here we see the Muslims, they try to take us away from our topic, but it's okay. We have the space and the time. Not like Allah. I feel sorry for him. He don't have a space. He don't have time. In fact, as long as you mention this, hold on. I mean, look, you Muslims, what you did to yourself. What you did, man. You remind me of a lot of things. Is fit perfectly for the gullible people. Gullible, gullible. Oh, listen. Oh. This is a gullible. This is, this is a, a future Muslim. I can't tell. She will become a Muslim sooner or later. So if we go and we search...
All right. Zainab said, Zainab says, a friend of mine uh -huh. claims that we should not say that Allah is on the throne because it will mean that Allah holds physical space. But if Allah does not have physical existence, then it means he is just in imagination, but, uh, that he is just an, an imagination. And how can someone see an imagination whereas Allah has promised to show himself to the people of Jannah? Zainab, these issues are very sensitive. Stop. The second you ask Abdul a question, I mean, I cannot even make it higher resolution. Anyway, maybe he is using the internet of the neighbor. So when he loads the video, it's so low resolution. So guys, this is so sensitive. Are you listening? You ask a question about uh, Allah is inside the space. This is sensitive. One more question. I cut your head. This is very are you do you know do you know what are you doing do you have an idea where are you going with this you are asking if Allah is in the space they are not gullible you should stay gullible you don't ask those questions continue continue shake as Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah uh -huh, the fart. as believers of the Quran and the Sunnah with uh -huh. the understanding of the three favored generations <laughs> we do not use our logic when it comes to Allah Azza wa Jal. Yeah. They are not gullible. Where is the guy who is losing logic about uh, Jesus, the mother of God, and his mother, you know, how many mother of God? <laughs> what? The second we ask about Allah, we don't use our logic? Okay. So how come when you speak about Jesus, suddenly you are very logical? How come when we speak about the Trinity, I understand they have to be logical? Do you see the stupidity and the hypocrisy of this garbage cult? They are logical only if they speak to an atheist. They are logical only if they speak to a Christian. They are not logical, not allowed to be logical if you speak about Allah, who have a shin, he have an ass, he have a penis, he have... Look at the finger in his hand, smash Allah. Look at his face. Look, this is a face of a believer. Look at this, this sense is dripping and logic is dripping there. You know, knowledge, this is knowledge. Look, the beard is white. That means a lot of knowledge went through the beard. Otherwise, why it's lost their color. So uh, continue, brother. Continue, please. So sorry for disturbing your sermon. Imagination, whereas Allah has promised to show himself to the people of Jannah. Zainab, these issues are very sensitive as Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah as believers of the Quran and the Sunnah with the understanding of the three favored generations we do not use our logic when it comes to Allah Azza wa Jal so when it comes to Allah's beautiful names and attributes we do not say that this is logical, this is not logical. How can we say this? How can this happen? This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. We did not see Allah Azza wa Jal. Okay. And Allah cannot be imagined. Oop. So how... Guys, Allah cannot be imagined. But the Quran says Allah have hands. The Quran says Allah have uh, five fingers. Or the hadith. He have a shin, he have a foot. Uh, 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 Allah compare himself in the Quran to a tree to a niche to a lamp lightened by olive oil and yet they say to you you cannot imagine Allah so why Allah saying those things about himself how dare someone how dare? ask a question or deny something acceptable we Allah's beautiful names and attributes we do not say that this is logical, this is not logical. How can we say this? How can this happen? This is unacceptable. We did not see Allah Azza wa Jal. And Allah cannot be imagined. Fiction, you know, I mean, 
Why you cannot imagine Allah? I mean, he told you, he told you how he looked like. Just you know, draw it. I draw Allah many times before, and you know, uh, uh, I, I receive warning uh, from the art society. They say to us, "There's like a thousand artists after you draw Allah committed suicide." So they gave me a, because they notice my art is beyond imagination. I'm really like when I draw the leg of Allah. Those artists they went crazy. There's one of them actually until now is a homeless in uh, in the in the city which have zero homeless. It's called San Francisco. There is no homeless there. You know, until I start drawing, if I start practicing my art, like psh, unbelievable, people lost their mind. Like, you know, everybody's homeless now. Even Hunter Biden, by the way, he lost his house. Yep, all the money coming from China from Russia. He can't even log into his account because he lost his mind. Like he had money in the bank, but he cannot find it. Like what, how we can go there, you know? So he's homeless now. So you cannot imagine Allah, can you? Are you stupid or what? How are you really stupid to imagine Allah? You cannot. Crazy, crazy people. I mean, disgusting people. The second you start using your brain, you are, you are, you are cursed. Islam is not for the gullible ones. Islam for the smart ones. Yeah, continue, brother. So how dare someone ask a question or deny something from the Quran and the Sunnah? This how, is how? exactly your friend, what he's doing. This is exactly what the Jahmiya did when they made all the names and attributes of Allah Azza wa Jal without any value. So Allah Azza wa Jal is all hearing, but he doesn't hear. How is that? Allah, they made Allah. Hold on. They are right. Allah is all hearing. How come he have to come down to the earth every third part of the night to hear you? If he's all hearing. A person who is all hearing, he do not need to get a closer so he can hear. <laughs> so you need to change the title of all hearing. Obviously, he's all hearing. Not hearing. He's covered by hair. Oh exactly as they define vacuum so when they wanted to describe allah they said allah is not up allah is not down allah is not in front allah is not back allah is not on the right allah is not in the left allah does if you want to describe something that does not exist it would fit as a glove exactly and this is wrong now as ahlus sunnah wal jama'ah we only believe in the names and attributes that Allah had told us about them in the Quran or that the Prophet himself Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us about in the Sunnah. That's it. No one can come for out of the blue and say that Wallah, Allah's beautiful name is so and so. Where did you get this name from? Quran Sunnah said no. So then this is unacceptable. This, just to show you that this guy is a donkey. You do not know what he's saying. Because according to the Quran, all the beautiful names belong to Allah. He just said, we heard him, you cannot say this beautiful name belong to Allah. You cannot. This is not acceptable. This is what he said. The Quran says the opposite. This is why those sheikhs are really, they grow beard, but they are donkey. Chapter 17, verse number 110, as you see in the screen. When Muhammad, he stole the name of Ar-Rahman, never ever used it before, Ar-Rahman. In the translation here, they are saying the beneficent, which is false translation. Muhammad never ever used the word Rahman. So how suddenly the word Rahman appear? How come? What happened? He received a letter from a person his name Rahmanul Yamama. When he received the letter from Rahmanul Yamama, he runs her back saying, In the name of Allah Ar Rahman. He copied the name of the Rahman from the guy. The Arab they said, Oh, Muhammad now he worshiped two gods. Allah and Rahman. So now Muhammad, he want to refute them. So he says, Allah told me to say this to you. I invoke Allah 
or I invoke Ar-Rahman by whatever name you invoke him for him be, belong all the best names do you see it? are you with me? so this is how you can tell that Muhammad is a fraud he spent most of his life never mentioning the word Rahman never ever but now if you go in the Quran you will find that every verse in the Quran every chapter in the Quran except at Tawbah it says in the name of Allah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim who put them there? this is telling you that the whole Quran is a fabrication because this is the first time Muhammad he mentioned the word Rahman you can go and read the interpretation for this and you will find exactly what I am saying. The word Rahman never ever mentioned. The Sheikh he said, you call, you know, he said, you cannot choose a name, beautiful name, and you say this is the name of Allah. You cannot. But the Quran is saying, well, whatever you call him, all beautiful names belong to Allah. Here we go, Muhammad, he hijacked all the beautiful names. Monica Lewinsky is Allah. Hunter Biden is Allah. Joe Biden is Allah. Trump is Allah. So, you know why Muhammad never mentioned the word Rahman in the first day of him being prophet? And then if you go, you go to the beginning. Look, you see here, the same chapter, chapter 17, verse number 110. Verse what? 110. Okay. If we go to uh, verse number one, <clears throat> what we will find? Let us do it. Go up. Up, up, up. Ah. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. You see the Muslims, they add something there. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. It's not part of the Quran. They add it. This is why it doesn't have number. It doesn't have a number. They say to us that they don't corrupt their book, but they are adding all of this when it is not even there. If we go and check the chapter of Al-Isra, chapter 17, when the first time Muhammad, he received chapter 17, I mean like this uh, chapter, when Muhammad he received it. Chapter 17 in reality is a chapter 107. The chapter they call Al Ma'un. The chapter 17, the one we are looking up at, is a chapter number 50 in the actual supposed Quran. 50. So Muhammad received 50 chapter. Never mention the word Ar Rahman. Never. How suddenly a name of God appear? And how suddenly become the most important in the name? Like, why there are three names now for Allah? Ar-Rahman, Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. And why three? Rahman al Yamama, he learned the Rahman word from the Aramaic. If you go and see an Aramaic Christian when they pray, they use the word Rahman, it Rahamu Alaikum, you know, Rahman from the mercy. It's an Aramaic word. The Arab they took it from the Aramaic, Muhammad he took it from Rahman al Yamama. And if we go and see in the, the, the interpretation, just to show you, you know, we are not making things up. We are not the same as the Abdul. They say things, we don't prove it. No, we prove everything we say.
I will open Ibn Kathir for you. Uh, we go to chapter 17. Okay, chapter 17, here we go. All right, 17. And then we go to verse 110. Very simple. The end of the chapter. I don't know if the text is coming clear for you, but I'm trying my best to make it clear. I look like here, actually, he did not mention anything about it. I don't know. Where is Rahman? Where is Rahman? 110. Did I click different wrong one? Hold on. Uh, you see, Ibn Kathir in English actually is not a correct translation. You know. Uh, let us go to uh, the Muslim website at Tafsir. Chapter 17, and then we go to verse 110, and then we go to a book, it's called Asbab al Nuzul, which means the reason for the verses to come down. This is the official government website of the Majid. Who he called himself the king of Jordan. So uh, read with me carefully. What happened? How this verse came to Muhammad? Uh, the Messenger of Allah, bless him, gave him peace, stood up in the night of vigil prayer. He kept saying in his prestration, O benefit, O, benef o benef uh, uh, beneficent, O merciful. And so the idolater said, Oh, Muhammad used to call upon one God, which is Allah. Now he is calling upon two God, and he called him the beneficent. We do not know anyone by the name of the beneficent except the beneficent of the Yamama. This is a person who he claimed to be a prophet. He called himself Rahmadul Yamama. The Muslim, they call him the liar, when the fact Muhammad is the fraud. So look, Muhammad, he learned about the name of this person. Suddenly, he is in every prayer saying, that, Oh Rahman, Oh Rahman, Oh Rahman, Oh Rahman. He never mentioned the name before. To the point, even the, the, even the Arab around him, who they grew up in town with him, he said, what happened to Muhammad? He is worshipping two gods now? Do you see it? He never mentioned the word Rahman. You have to be a very gullible, gullible to believe that Muhammad is a prophet of God and his God he forgot to mention to him his serious names. Suddenly, Muhammad, he received a Rahman. Where? You will notice here, he is saying, O, benefic o Beneficent, O Rahman. Guys, I, I, I want to see who of you can notice what I'm noticing. Let us see. Who want to help me with something will, you know, make Muhammad cooked in a second that he is a false prophet? And I will give you a hint. Here we go. Who want to help me? <clears throat> who of you want to help me? How we can use this word alone to prove Muhammad to be a fraud? Just one word. Read carefully what the text is saying to you. Is the text clear, guys? You can read it. 
Do I need to zoom out? Is my podcast getting fine? I hope so. Anyone notice with me? <clears throat> yeah, merciful is a problem, or Rahman. Yeah, but why, why it's the problem? What is exactly the problem? I mean, nothing wrong to say that, but there is a problem. Big problem. You will notice with me that Muhammad, he is using the word before he received Quran about it. Do you understand now? Which means Muhammad obviously is copying the guy name. Because he should receive Quran first. Allah is saying to him, call me Rahman. Then Muhammad start calling him Rahman. But not after people accuse him that he is copying the name of the guy. Then he made Quran saying, oh Allah told me, you say Rahman or not Rahman. So he was doing as he wish. Are you with me? Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, when when I was in uh, like studying law, the teacher he like I put my hand up. He don't like no, not you, not you. Don't ask me a question. I know you. I know you. I don't have answer for you. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. You okay? So I can't ask questions. But then the student they start getting curious about my questions. So after the class is over. They say to me, what was your question you wanted to ask and he did not let you? And then you will see how many of them they leave Islam. How does guy claim to be he is a messenger of Allah and he is doing the will of Allah? And then he received Quran about calling Allah Ar-Rahman after he called him Ar-Rahman. We just heard the Muslim Sheikh saying that we are not allowed to give Allah a name. As we wish. But this is what Muhammad did. And the proven in front of us in their books, Muhammad never called his God a Rahman ever before. Muhammad, he copied the name of the guy, his name is Rahman. And now they are questioning him, how come you are using Rahman? You never heard you. Are you worshiping two gods now? So now after he use it, he cannot take it down. He made a verse saying, well, Allah told me whatever name I call him, all good name belong to Allah. So it is the choice of who to call Allah a name. Are you with me? Is it the choice of Allah or the choice of Muhammad? It's choice of Muhammad. The verse saying that I call him Allah or I call him Rahman or whatever you call him, all nice names belong to Allah. Whatever you call him. This is telling you that Muhammad was doing his own desire, giving names to Allah. It's not Allah giving names to himself. Correct? I hope you guys are taking notes because later you might forget. See, this is a very stupid religion, but it can work. If you are a foolish person, a low IQ. And you know, if you are a low IQ, it can happen. It's not your fault. I mean, you are born, you know, you take DNA from your parents and you learn. I mean, there's many things. But even if you have a low IQ, by the help of others, you can see things you are not able to see by yourself. So you have no excuse no more. I cannot give a name to my Lord as I wish. 
I cannot. Muhammad is the one in control of giving names to Allah. And the funny is, Muhammad received the license of giving names to Allah after he gave the name. Not before. Which obvious that Muhammad is fabricating names. Now, I wanted to read for you the story of the fountain of youth because any, many of us, we want to go and become like, uh, you know, like me, myself, I'm still 17, so I'm not worried about it. But many of us, we want to be uh, uh, not gullible, gullible and believe in the true stories of a prophet of Allah, like the story of the fountain of youth. So shall we go there back? Listen here. There's a lot of beautiful things Allah created. One of them is the fountain of youth. You drink from the water of the fountain of youth, you stay young forever. Uh, few days old, Sneeko video, he says he regret converting to Islam. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a stupid people, you know. He regret, he don't regret, let him stay there. He fit, he is fit, he fit perfectly there. You know, there is a human being, there's people who they are useful for humanity. You can be an atheist, by the way, and you can be useful. At least you have a value. You have a use. An atheist person who is a builder, should he have a value? An atheist person who is, a, you know, he installs electricity for you. He do wiring in your house. An atheist who fix your car or make a car is useful. What is the use of somebody believing Allah? Nothing. He burned buildings. He burned people alive just for opposing him. He used violent. He bring destruction. He bring child molestation. He destroy society by having too many kids. They have no parents. Marrying children, divorcing women as he wish, allowing himself to lie, and supposedly that will practice the ethical religion. You will find that every single ethical Islamic society, and I'm using the word ethical between two brackets, is extremely corrupt. If you ask anyone from Pakistan, is the society of Pakistan is ethical, or every single police and judge and officer and minister and prime minister and president in your country is a fraud? What the answer would be? You know the answer. In fact, every prime minister served in Pakistan, he ended in jail. The one before them, he was arrested for a child molestation. Is that true? But not necessarily because they did that, but because it's a corrupt government, corrupt society. They accuse you of anything, even if you never do anything, because it's a corrupt society. But you go in Pakistan, they speak to you about how much they love Allah, how much they are Muslims who support Osama bin Laden. The second you check their ethic, you will find that nothing but a bunch of losers who they worship their penises. Prove me wrong. You know, Thailand is not a Muslim country. Not at all. But can I compare Thailand to any Muslim country with faith? No. The lowest in faith in Thailand is way more honorable to any Muslim leader you know. Prove me wrong. In Thailand, women, they can walk in the street and nobody kidnap them or rape them. Yes, this is Thailand. Nobody bother you. In Thailand, 
they don't force kids to wear women clothes and put makeup on them as they do in Taliban and Pakistan. But Chabazi? Yes, Thailand is way better than Pakistan. Better than Saudi Arabia. In fact, the Mohammedan themselves, when they decide to be happy, they go to Thailand. <laughs> This is the truth. Let me play this video for you. This is a nice movie of my design. Look at this beautiful version coming to this Abdul who is carrying the sign of Osama bin Laden. Oh boy, he is coming. And look at the sneaker. His sneaker, I mean, you're for, what the heck is sneaker? I mean, what the heck is that? His sneaker, what the heck? Is that a void? I, I mean, your mom, she gave you face like this when she gave, no way. I mean, you must be, doing a surgery in Thailand to get such a beauty. Look at the reaction of Sneaker when he heard Nasheed. He did not hear the Quran. He don't even know what he heard. Look at this face. That is a face of a believer, a true believer in Allah, who he do not know what the word Allah mean. Brother, when you are a Muslim, you are not a global no. Look at the face if you don't believe me. Isn't it this is a face of a genius? In fact, the word genius is coming from the genie. Genie, yes. You know, uh, you know the thing. So you will notice that every single Muslim, he is so happy. He has peace in his heart. Look at the peace in their faces. You know? I mean, sneaker, he have a piece of shit in his, I mean, sorry, <clears throat> piece of, uh, huh, uh, no, whatever, yeah. the, the, uh, uh, director, erase that, erase that, yeah, no, no, not this, don't erase a sneaker, we need a sneaker, no, erase what I said, no, we are not, we should not say the word shit, what, I can, oh, it's really, oh, I forgot, it's mentioned in the Quran, have you ever heard in the a book of God, says, if you touch women or if you touch shit, you have to wash. And this is God talking. Let me show you. Hold on. This is God talking, not a prophet. No, 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 no. Not a prophet. Look at this. Oh, boy. And the Muslim, by the way, they have a translation for it. They try to make the word shit sound nice, like ice cream. Let us see the translation for the word shit in the Quran. What a shitty book. Look how many times the word shit appear. Let us see this one, this chapter first. Chapter 4, verse number 43. How the Muslim translate the word shit? Hold on, hold on. So, uh, when uh, uh, who believe approach not Salat, when you are a drunken state, Okay, this is Muslim used to be drunk all the time. Okay, so, okay, and then, uh, then uh, in the state of Geneva, which means you have sexual intercourse, and if you what, traveling, except the one who is traveling, but what the heck is that? And then he says, uh, or, being in contact with women, where is the word shit? I don't see the word shit. Ah, hold on. Uh -huh. Look, look. Or after the call of nature, the word shit became called nature? What a shitty translation. The word shit become the call of nature. I mean, do you see how beautiful the translation? Will make you feel like you want to do call of nature. Hey, nature, are you calling me? CP, I'm nature. Come, guys, I hear a voice coming from the bathroom. I'm calling you. Come to me. I'm looking at the bathroom. I see nobody there. Oh, why? Who's talking? It is the call of nature. The nature is calling you. So, so all shit became call of nature. Why you don't say shit? 
I mean, if your Quran says Ghaid, say Ghaid. What color? What the heck? I, mean, I don't watch news no more since we have the call of nature, Joe Biden, there. He's naturally president, you know. Guys, the guy who keep coming here with the name Palestine, block him always. Never let him post any comment. Any Muslim, he want to come here with the name Palestine, block him. A beach. Any person, he come here with the name Palestine, block him. His God blocked him. The word Palestine never appear in the Quran. Not even once, not even in the Hadith. So they are dummy, stupid, and they have no decency. Even your God do not know it. Anytime, anytime, any Muslim, you do not need by permission, even if he's a Christian, he come with the word Palestine, block him. All right. So now we go back to the fountain of youth, which is very important. Ladies and gentlemen, especially ladies, if you make me happy, I can tell you where the fountain of youth located. Look. The story is so long. They took their wheel with them, put it in the basket, and they keep going. Walking down street in the fountain of youth, next to the fountain of youth, la la la, la la la. And then, when they arrive to the rock, look, 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 look at the details, look at the geography. Do you have a God like this? They arrive at the rock, there's one rock in the whole territory of Bahrain. One rock. That's it. Easy, easy. Is it easy? There was water spring called Al Hayat, which means the life. And none come in touch with it, its water, but become alive. Ooh. I am going to sprinkle water over Muhammad. Hey Muslims, what about you sprinkle some water from the fountain of life over Muhammad, the dead Muhammad, bring him back to life. He will unite you, you became your leader, he will sleep with all your women, and you will have babies from him. Which one can make baby better? The babies of Muhammad or the babies of the ketchup boy? Hmm? Brother, those are the true stories. The fountain of life is proven to be scientifically accurate. If you don't believe me, watch the movie Jack Sparrow. When Jack Sparrow, he was looking for the fountain of youth. I don't know why they call him Jack Sparrow. I mean, he do he look like a sparrow? Fountain of youth. Oof, that's deep. You know what, you Muslim? Shouldn't you sue the movie? I mean, obviously, they took the name from your prophet. And your prophet took the name from who? Uh, here is the problem. So Jack Sparrow, when he went in the, the in the field, let me show you Jack Sparrow when he found the fountain. If you just to refresh your refresh your memory, do you see Jack Sparrow? Praise be to Allah. It's true. It exists. We were able even to locate the, uh, you know, the thing, you know, the thing, you know. So, uh, by the way, is Jack Sparrow mentioned in the Quran? Maybe he is Al-Khadr. Actually, he looked like one. Who is with him? Aisha? No. Khadija? Look at this. 
they found the fountain of youth which mentioned in the holy uh, an if not the prophet of Allah Muhammad police be upon him tell us where to find it you see he said next to the rock look with me in the screen do you see the rock people just I mean just focus with me do you see the rock don't tell me you don't see the rock how the prophet he knew that the fountain of youth is next to the rock look at the yoke here. okay here we go the, the, the rock hmm? do you see it and then those kuffar they deny the truth which is mentioned by Allah in his holy uh, Gurgaon how Prophet Muhammad knew this Huh? How he knew that there is a rock next to the fountain of youth? That is impossible for somebody who did not study or archaeology, something like that, you know. And you will notice that Jack Sparrow obviously was a Muslim too. He put eyeliner over his eyes. Mm. Otherwise, why he have eyeliner? And he's a pirate. Perfect. Nothing is missing. Perfect Muslim. Pirate. Eyeliner. Found the fountain of youth. And he was a thinker. Look at this. Hmm. He read the Quran interpretation. The Prophet says there is a fountain of youth. Mm. Um. Mm. And he said there is a rock next to it. Mm. It's getting easier. And he said Bahrain. Okay, so all what we need to do, we go to Bahrain. We look for the rock. We find the fountain of youth. Who is this behind him? The caliphate? He looked like ISIS guy. Mashallah. So anyway, I mean, I mean, all those evidence, by the way, they can prove to us one thing that Allah must be true God. You know, the like Christianity. You know, I mean, they don't even have like Trinity. Yeah, right. You know. Okay, okay. You know. Uh huh. This is uh, what logic is. You know, fountain of youth, rock. They have a, a wheel in the basket. The, the water touched the wheel. The wheel, the wheel comes back to life. Another, he sat on the uh, in the ground. He make his ass is sweating, so he make a grass grow under his ass. You know because it's very uh, sweaty ass. And uh, he look look. The al khudr he drank from the fountain of youth. But look what happened. Anything he touch become a green. So now, if you are in touch with Mr. Al Khadr, which means a green, Mr. Green, Khadr means Arabic, means green. That's why they call him green. Because when he walk in the street, grass grow under his feet. He's, uh, he, oh, come on, he's dropping, he drank the water of youth. Crazy people. Actually, it doesn't say, by the way, if, uh, uh, water of youth. It says fountain of life. This is more powerful. Look, look, it says here. A spring called Al Hayat. Hayat in Arabic mean life. All right. So the guy he walk in the desert, wherever he walk, grass grow right away. Just, just, just. He want to take a break. He sit in the ground, and there his ass. The grass grow like crazy, including weeds. That's why he have some thorn, a thorn in his eyes. And then, brother. When uh, uh, when Osama bin Laden, I mean sorry, Musa bin Laden, he arrived to the fountain of youth, which none come in touch with it, but become life, which is absolutely scientifically accurate. So some of the water of the spring fall over the fish. Look at the destiny. Look at the movie. Look at the look at the details. Look at the director. They arrive next to the rock. 
Next to the rock, there's a fountain of life. They sit there. They have their dead whale in the basket. Some of the water, brother. Some, not all. No, you can't do that. That's dangerous. If you, if you put a lot of water on the uh, whale, the whale will go back behind time. I mean, to the time before it's become a whale. We shrink, so it became babies. So, some of the water it dropped on the fish, not even drinking it. Look, 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 look. The fish did not even swallow the water, just drop on it. Like we drop, you know? So you can imagine if I drop some of this water on you, what will happen to you? So beautiful. So they dropped the water on the fish, or sorry, by accidentally, accidentally. Allah, he made it happen. And then the whale come back to life. And then, look at this. I wish I have a camera at that time. So it moved and slipped out of the basket. The whale is inside the basket. The whale is dead. A drop of water from the fountain of life dropped on the whale. The whale start moving. The whale is breathing. It's gone. I was dead a second ago. The whale now is moving his tail. The whale is jumping in the water. And Moses did not even notice. Look at this. All of this happened and Moses and his servant is next to the basket. Brothers and sisters, those things happened only in Arabia. Only. Don't try this in America or Malaysia or Indonesia. Don't even think about it. In Indonesia, Muslim, do you have Bahrain? No. Do you have Iraq? In Indonesia? No. So how we will have the fine turn of you there? Because this is the requirement. You have to have a rock. You have to have Bahrain. And you have and then you can find the fountain of youth. If you don't have those requirements, you cannot have them. However, if you are a person who live in Indonesia, hold on, hold on. I love you know Indonesia is so beautiful really actually. But I know I have a suspicion about Indonesian. I heard that people in Indonesia, they live forever. I'm not sure. Most of my admins, most of them, they are from Indonesia. If you ask any of those ladies here, you ask them, how old are you? They will say seven years old. Two years ago, I asked them, how old are you? They said, ten years old. They are getting younger. How do you explain that? There's only one explanation. Either because they are females, and females ever, never grow in that direction. They always get younger. Look, guys, do you want to see how I, I, how I did type Indonesia? Hold on, hold on. I want to show you. Man, my grammar. I mean, my typing, especially when I'm, I'm going live, is so good. Hold on, hold on. I should not show you this, because if you show you this, you will learn how you can type so good. Look, I will show you. Okay, it's I will show you. Okay, but I hope you guys you will not just learn from me the true secret of typing. Hold on. Do you see how you type Indonesia? Look at this. Look at this. Who can type like this? Be honest. Can you find any Arabian beside me and Prophet Muhammad? illiterate prophet who can type Indonesia like this? Hmm? Absolutely not. You cannot. Who can make Quran like my Quran? Who can type Indonesia like me? None of you. Why? Because Allah gave me a gift how to type correctly. All right, so uh, okay, and uh, Indonesia. <laughs> but uh, anyway, the story here, it's uh, it's getting more complicated. I just found rocks in Indonesia. 
Is that the fountain of youth? Oh, you see nothing? Oh, oh okay, my screen is black. Okay, oh, sorry guys, sorry. It's my fault, it's my fault. Well, you miss it, you miss it how, how to type Indonesia, what I can do. I mean, I cannot show you again. I don't know how to type it, and like I don't know. I, I cannot type it the same wrong uh, typing again. Let, let me see. Hindu ni. Yeah, ha, ha, here we go. I have it in the search engine. All right, I will show you. I will show you. I know you are desperate to see science and you know, and to learn how to type. All right. Okay. Here we go. I will show you how to type correctly in Indonesia. I hope that will help you. For your future resume if you apply for any jobs all right now this is the origin of indonesia it used to be like this when prophet adam peace be upon him he come to the earth he type indonesia like this hmm? hindu Nisha, because okay, well, the uh, country first was uh, Russian. You know Nisha. Like, oh, listen. What's your name? Nisha. Oh, yeah. are you the daughter of Olga from Russia? Yes, exactly. So, the uh, country uh, originally they are uh, Russian. You know, this is why you go to Indonesia, they, they will find a lot of people they speak Russian more than Indonesia. Unbelievable, like uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, spasiva. Okay, so this is how you type it correctly. Don't type it like some people, idiot, who type this. As example, yeah, Google. Look, I type Indonesia. Look what Google give me. Disgusting. What's wrong with Google? Do you think you know better? So anyway, the accurate name is Indonesia, as you see. <laughs> So anyway, I found I found that in Indonesia there is rocks and there is water too. So I am not sure now if we can find the fountain of youth in Indonesia. Do you think we can? Look at this. Oh, look at this. Masha Allah. I mean, the heaven of Allah is in Indonesia, not in the sky. Look at this. Fountain of youth is there. How many here from Indonesia? Don't take me, uh, don't sue me now, says the, the guy is changing the name of our country. I'm giving you the original, uh, you know, names. Those are the correct names. They lie to you, the, the, like United Nations, when they say to you, your name, etc. So, like, you know, and when, when uh, uh, there is a lot of suspicion, by the way, and suspense in the journey of Moses. When he went there, actually, he went through a gate. And if you go in the whole country of Bahrain, you will not find the gate. But you can find it in Indonesia. Look at this. So I'm suspecting that the original name of Indonesia was Bahrain. Think about it. How far Indonesia from the land of our grandfather, uh, what is his name? Adam. Not far. When Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, he was sent down by Allah, Allah put him in Sri Lanka. Listen, Muslims are not gullible, gullible. No, they are not. They are worshipping the true God who told them everything. Okay, hold on. from amongst those now if we look at adam alayhi salam he came down onto the earth he was sent to the earth there's a question where did he land where where he was he wasn't just thrown so that suddenly he landed meaning he dropped but allah placed him on the earth man this we find in the narration of rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam where he says that adam alayhi salam nazala fil hind Oof. He came down in what is known as the Indo Pak subcontinent. Precisely, precisely Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. There is a mount there known as Adam's Peak. Oof. If you go there, 
you will find it green and beautiful as mm. though it is not from this earth but it is i'm not trying to imply anything but i'm just saying it is so beautiful maybe because the sri lankans have kept it that way but it's a beautiful place it is it is said that there is a possibility that that is the place we don't know for certain that that spot is the place but roughly then what about hawa where did she come down in jidda where is jidda where where jidda is in the arabian peninsula look at this adam brother hey global global glo global muslims adam brother he landed in sri lanka who in the world can say this is a lie can you in fact, why they call it Sri Lanka? Because Sir Adam was there. And he was living in a village called Lanka. What the word Lanka mean? Lanka is like a kind of, uh, you know, like, you know, you know, Lincoln, you know. So he was Lincoln around. And then he said to himself, okay, what I will call this. So he said, I will call it Sri Lanka. Listen carefully what, what the prophet, he said, look at this beautiful. Salam, where he says, that Adam alayhi salam nazala fil hind. Beautiful. He came down in what is known as the Indo Pak subcontinent. Oof. Precisely. Precisely. Sri Lanka. There is a mount there known as Adam's Peak. If you go there, you will find it green and beautiful as though it is not from this earth, but it is. I'm not trying to imply anything. But I'm just saying it is so beautiful, maybe because the Sri Lankans have kept it that way. But it's a beautiful place. It is, it is said that there is a possibility that that is the place. We don't know for certain that that spot is. Look, he's an honest Muslim. He did not know for sure. I mean, just I have to tell you. Muhammad said Sri Lanka, India, but he don't know like exactly where he, you know. However, we have a clear evidence that Adam, he landed in Sri Lanka. How we can prove it? Let me show you. The Muslims, Islam is not for gullible, uh, no, it's for smart ones. He said that Adam, he came down in Adam Peak. Adam what? Adam Peak. Let me show you Adam Peak, brother. Give me a second. Oh, look how beautiful. So Adam Peak, the Muslim they claim that this is the footstep of Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. How come Muslims have a lot of evidence in archaeology, not like the Christians? Anyone can tell me. Muslims, but this is a Buddhist temple, have nothing to do with Adam. No, 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 no. This is the footstep of Adam. Okay, hold on, hold on. How come there is only one footstep? Do you think the reason that when Adam landed, he had only one foot? He lost the other foot in Afghanistan? Road bombing? So Adam, he landed in, in, in Sri Lanka and they found only one foot for him. Because simply Adam at that time, he don't like walking. He was a jumper. He used one foot like a kangaroo. Boing, 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 boing. Now listen, listen. Adam landed in Sri Lanka. How he crossed to Saudi Arabia? Very easy. Is it easy? The whale, the whale in the story of Moses was there. He took the whale. But, uh, you know, it's uh, simple. I don't know. And the Muslim, they say that you people don't have logic and you don't have any uh, proof. Oh, hold on, hold on. I can show you even that the Muslim, they have archaeology nobody have ever. If I type in Google right now, grave of a prophet Adam. All right. 
brothers and sisters. Why only Muslims have archaeology like this? This is as an example, grave of a prophet Adam. Hmm, let me show you. Oh, this is so oh, okay. This is prophet Adam. Ah, this prophet Adam. This is the grave of a prophet Adam. All right. But the same grave exists all over the place. Pakistan, Saudi Arabia. This is in, this is in Saudi Arabia. Prophet Adam, he died in Saudi Arabia. Yes, brother. All right. Prophet Adam have different grave. Look how long it is. Two hundred ten foot long grave. This is Adam grave. There is other grave of a prophet Adam. Look at this one. This one different one. Look in you can get grave of Adam brother subhanallah in Pakistan. Grave of Hazrat Adam. Oh, look, we have other grave, the same grave, the same guy. He's, he's, he's buried everywhere in Islamic countries. This is him and his wife Eve. Isn't it? This is beautiful. Who have archaeology like Muslims? Prove science. Bones is there. Adam was 60 foot long, 60 cubit tall, sorry. Obviously, his wife, she was told too. The tomb of who? Adam and Eve. They died for sure. They died together. I mean, come on. You want, you want live, uh, 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 Eve to live after him, after he died? And look, they put, uh, uh, what they put in the top of the grave? What is that? The bricks? Uh, that's a great business. Look, look at the fence. Look at the fence. Look at this. Look at this. What a beautiful grave. And they have a flag, a green flag in the top business. You know, stupid people, they come here, they make donation. You know, hold on. I see another grave of Adam. Oh, this is a grave of uh, uh, Prophet Saleh. <laughs> this is Prophet Saleh, brother. They have a grave for everybody. This is Habil. Okay, how come Habil is shorter than, so short? This is Habil, guys. Habil. Hmm? The sons of Adam. Muslim have it. Christian don't have it. How you explain that to me? Hmm? And those are in Pakistan. Look, 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 look. Greatest grave in Pakistan. Haydar TV. And look at the competition. In Pakistan, they have a, a grave of Adam. One is 210 and one is 70. I will tell you why. The 70, the grave which 70, is only for the penis of Adam. Not all of Adam is there because they could not put him all together. His penis was going up. You know, when he died, his private part was so hard. So they cannot bury him and keep his penis up. So what they do, when he died, they put him in the grave and they cut the penis, which is 70 feet long, and they put it in additional grave, not far away. It's just in a different city, like a few hundred meters, kilometers away. All right? One is 210 feet grave of Adam and his penis is 70 foot only smash Allah you know the guy is saying to me I'm showing you this is your it says there and it's on front of you and it have 894,000 view are you kidding me this is it must be real look the Abdul they are praying on the grave the tomb this is a different one the tomb of a prophet Adam peace be upon him you just go right there. Just go right there. Yeah, yeah. Rags. I mean, the poor Adam. He never, he never saw a rag all his life, but he have a rag. 
Yok. Oh boy. Hadrat Adam aleyhi selam. All of this by the way proving certain, certain definitely to be true. Some Christian they might say to you this is not true. Not don't listen to them. They lie. Okay? Look, this is the grave of a prophet Noah. <laughs> Even Noah they have his grave in Pakistan. The tomb of Noah, look at this. But the most funny grave I like is the one look like a sandwich. Look at this one. You can't even make the grave straight. This is the grave of Noah. But this is a different grave from the other grave. Noah was buried everywhere. I mean, Noah, when he died, actually, you know what? I think what happened, he was installing the gas uh, container to his wife in the kitchen. Boom. And then like one foot in uh, Taliban land, one foot in Pakistan, one foot in uh, Sri Lanka. I mean, all over the place. So they have, uh, they buried their, uh, you know, part everywhere. Look at this. This is a different one. How many Noah we have? The Muslims, for the sake of the say, you know, how many Noah we have? This, the grave of Noah. Look at this. Oh boy. This is the same Noah? We, we, Look how long it is, whoa, like a train. And they have tables, they have tiles around it. Who is this? Grave of a prophet Ham, the son of, uh, of uh, what? This is a prophet Ham? Oh, they have even the grave of, <laughs> this is a ham sandwich. <laughs> this is a prophet Ham or a, a ham sandwich. <laughs> Guys, this is the grave of a prophet Ham, son of a prophet Noah. That's deep. This is a ham sandwich, my friend. He Muslims, how you get all those archaeology? I mean, your God is so good. He, he inspired you to find them, don't he? So Ham became a ham sandwich. Who is this? Hazrat the Prophet Ham? The same guy in different location? I mean, how many times you bury him? What the heck? Who is this guy? Uh, grave of who? Hold on, I don't know who is this guy. Grave of who? Uh, grave of nine prophet? Nine prophet in one place in India? Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Nine prophet. What is that? Okay, what else? What else? Who is this guy? Oh boy. The same prophet Adam is buried here too? This different one. I, I don't know. I, I give up. I give up. You know. But you know, we have to admit that Muslims, it's true they don't have a Quran. They don't even have a single manuscript. But they have all the graves of the prophet. They have Ham, Sulami, Prophet Sulami, Prophet Ham, Prophet uh, 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 Hummus, a Prophet uh, Salah, I mean, all the Prophet, you know? The question is, how come Islam is full of evidence? How come other religions, they don't have such a thing? No, this is the same guy in different country? How many grave you have for Adam? I mean, you, Muslims are really crazy. What's wrong with you? You buried him in many places, don't you? So the kuffar will not find out where he is he, the real one. Who is this? Hold on, hold on. This is a prophet Job? Prophet Job in Pakistan? No way. He went to Pakistan. I mean, things really is going out of hand. Look, look, I found another prophet, a, a grave, Adam. This one, TikTok. You Muslims are really weak. How many graves you have for the same guy? Who is this one here? Pro Saleh? 
This is the grave of a prophet Saleh, which, which never heard of him before. This is Ibrahim. Uh, this is, can be acceptable to be uh, to be uh, to be a grave. <laughs> but he is in Pakistan too. <laughs> Ibrahim in Pakistan. Who's this guy? Hold on. Mubarak. Hazrat. This is Adam, the same Adam there too. Look how many graves. Look how big the grave. Man. People of Pakistan, they don't even have apartment to live in it. But look how big the grave. Because Qabr. Hazrat Qambit. Hey Muslims, do you know what Qambit mean? Qambit. Alayhi salam. This guy, his name is Qambit. So you Muslim, you say Qambit is Adam. In Arabic there it says, in the Urdu language, it says Qambit alayhi salam. Qambit ya Qambit. Anta ya Qarnabit. Qambit ya Qambit. Qambit ya Qambit. The grave of Hazrat Qambit. Uf, uf, uf. The son. Oh, this is Qambit. This, I never heard of this. His name is Qambit. He is the son of Adam. No way. This is the son of Adam. No wonder he is so tall. Kambit. The Muslims. <laughs> Muslims for sure are not gullible. gullible. No, they are not. Are you kidding me? They make those graves and those stupid naive ones. They go and give money. And they, you know, the one who built this building, he make, he get rich from the stupid ones. Uh... Who is, this is the Prophet Shu'aib? Look, they have a Prophet Shu'aib too. We have the Prophet of everybody, grave, everybody, nothing is missing. They have all the details. Look, this is the Prophet Shu'aib. Yep. And he was so tall, brother. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Noah? This is the grave of Noah. Look at this. Oh boy. This is the grave of whom? I'm getting busy here with the graves. I guess soon you will sleep. And I'm showing you graves all night long. This is the grave of whom? Ah, Adam. Adam, how many graves? Look how many this additional grave. This is a prophet, Hazrat, son of Adam. Yeah, we saw this one. Who is this? This is Ayub. Why he look like uh, too much wrinkles? What happened? This is Ayub, guys. This is Jacob. Uh, who is this guy? Oh, Amran, Amran, the, the, the grandfather of uh, Jesus. Grandfather of Jesus, he is there, look. The tomb of a prophet Amran. Amran, Amran is the father of Moses, but he is the grandfather of Jesus at the same time in Islam. Even Amran, they have his grave. Because you have to pay me for this uh, tourist guidance, you know? I mean, I'm telling you. Look, look. This is the same. Look how tall Umran is. This is in Oman. Oman is in a, 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 a Prophet Umran. He died in Oman. Now I know why his name is like that. Umran, Oman. Hey Muslims, what Umran is doing in Oman? Maybe after the oil discovery, he decided to work there. And why he's so tall? This is Umran? This way it says. Fact check. The Prophet shows tomb of a Prophet Umran in Oman. Oh boy. This is a Prophet Saleh. He's tall too. Everybody is tall here, man. I'm the only one short in town. Look at this. Endless grave. Who is this? 
Now, now Gaza grave. Who is now Gaza? I don't know who is this guy. You tell me. I don't know. Anyone knows what this is? It says it's an Islamic grave. It says now, now Gaza grave. I know who is this guy. <clears throat> I think you had enough for today, don't you? Oh boy. I'm seeing tons of graves. Ah, look, Uzair. Uzair. Prophet Uzair. Uzair, the son of Allah. Look, I'm not saying that. It says in front if you read it. The grave, maqam, prophet of Uzair. Do you see it? Even Uzair, they have a grave for him. Who is this one? I don't know, this is a grave of whom? I'm not sure. Uh... I mean, endless grave, man. What a grave religion. The tomb of Prophet of Islam. Who is this guy? This is a Muslim prophet with his name, with his name. Hazrat Elias. This is Elias. This is Elias. Elia. No. They have his grave. They do. In Pakistan, too. He's a Pakistani. Oh look, I even found a selfie taken by a web camera of Adam and Eve made by Muslims. Look at this. They cover their face. Haram. Haram to show their face. So this is Eve and this is Adam. Do you see how the Muslims, they blank their faces? Because haram, haram to show their faces of Adam and Eve. And uh, Eve, why you are showing your uh, hands, arms? Shame on you. You don't wear a burqa? You know? Oh, this is the grave of Adam and Eve in Sri Lanka. Look at this. This is the grave of Adam and Eve in Sri Lanka. Subhanallah. Look, 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 look. Far corner of Sri Lanka. The grave of Adam and Eve. Do we have anyone here from Sri Lanka? I want to go there and take some videos. Huh? How many of you is going to convert to Islam. Islam is not for the gullible. Uh, no, for sure, it's for the smart ones. Look, look, look at this grave. They put, they put his hat at the end of the grave. I like it. I love it. You know, I, I remember my friend, he's a cowboy. When he died, we, like, we made a grave for him, and we put his cowboy hat. Then the wind came, throw it away. We put it back. The wind came, throw it away, we put it back. And then we decided, we said, okay, what we do? We put the crazy glue in the top of the grave. And now until now it's fixed. Uh, you are in Sri Lanka, you never heard of it. Jerome, my friend, I have a clear evidence that the Christian brands have the best geography guideline for anyone, including your own country. Here we go. Jerome, from Sri Lanka, he never seen this before. How you explain that to me? The answer is very simple. Allah inspired me. I never been in Sri Lanka. I never been there. Allah inspired me to go in Google, type Adam a grave. And then the list of knowledge is start coming by the inspiration of Allah. So we have always to put faith on Allah. Allah is all knowing. Allah, he guide the Muslims, brothers. To find the graves of every every prophet doesn't matter he's big he's small he's short all of them nobody is missing who is this guy video kashmiri man oh, okay this is the grave of whom shu'ib again i thought this is how many graves you have for shu'ib who is this guy this is ayub 
What the heck? Okay, who is this guy here? Shtaza Moss Complex. I don't know what the heck is that. Uh, this is a Shukar Adam Sah Tomb. I don't know who is this guy. Look at those. I mean, those people, they worship tombs. Look. Look at the, 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 the room around them. It's covered by marble. You know, look at this cost of the money. I mean, those people are poor. They can't even afford money for food. The ceiling is covered by marble. I mean, crazy. What is that? Uh. Anyway, anyway, conclusion. Conclusion for today. Islam for sure is not for gullible, gullible people. It's for it's very super intelligent people. It doesn't matter how the kuffar say, what the Christian says to you. You believe in Allah, Allah will provide you with sex toys. Women who Allah spent 1,000 years to make her skin smooth. This is how slow Allah is. 1,000 years just for each one. And look at their faces. You will notice that every Muslim, he have a beautiful face and he is so happy and so excited. But the conclusion, if you convert to Islam now, you have a discount. A great discount sent by Allah. You believe now you get this. Look at this. Let me show you. Look at this. Huh. Oh boy. Do you see her? A lot of girls like that. Look at this. Who would like to get women who their ass is one mile? Who dare even to refuse such a temptation? Me, myself, I search for Amazon for the biggest TV ever I can buy. And then I said to myself, I mean, I would go blind if I have such a big TV, even though they are so cheap. So I did not, I changed my mind. But imagine if you have a woman, her ass is one mile. Do you know how your neighbors and the neighbors of the neighbors and the neighbors of the neighbors, even Hunter Biden, will be jealous from you? Do you know how much support and, I mean, Fame you can get if your wife is one mile ass. Do you know about, do you think about security? Imagine you have a gang like Tony from Italy, the mafia, you know, my cousins. Hey, Tony, shoot him. What do you do? You order your wife to bend over, fart, and kill all the mafia. It will take you only one cigarette and one fart. Don't, hold on, be careful. When she bend over, don't light the cigarette and put it in your mouth. She will burn you. You put the cigarette in the top of a table. And then she fart in the direction of the cigarette and the enemy. As you know, fart is a flammable. She will burn them all. It's going to be like a napalm, you know, bomb. Islam for sure is for smart people. You like it, like it. You don't like it, I feel sorry for you. If there's anyone here is not com, 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 confused? No. Anyone is not uh, uh, convinced that Islam must be from the true God? Do you have any archaeology proofs and reference like Muslims? No. You will notice from all the grave we saw, the Muslim didn't have one grave. Anyone notice which one? Like they have a grave for Muhammad, right? But there is one grave the Muslim don't dare to make. Anyone can tell me? <laughs> they have a grave for everybody. Except one prophet in Islam. Who is he? Who can tell me? I know that my voice comes to you late. But let us see who of you will notice. There is only one grave. They don't have a grave for him. Isa, they don't dare. <laughs> they have a grave for everybody. 
I mean, everybody is in the unbelievable man, Adam. They went behind time. Adam, Noah, Shishka, Abraham, everybody. Only he said they don't have a grave for him. Why? Because he's in heaven. And then we need to ask ourselves, Muhammad, and goal of all Muslims. How come every one of you is dead except Jesus? We Christians, we follow the living Messiah. You gullible follow the dead Muhammad. Let me tell you the bad news. A child molester, sex offender, thief, criminal, rabbit, rapist, he was actually infected with rabies. He died by poison. And he claimed that if he fabricated Quran, Allah will make him cut his order. And this is exactly how he died. Why in the world you want to follow such a person and you don't follow Jesus? We Christian, we follow the living Messiah. You Muslim, you follow the dead Muhammad and his fiction God, which his stories is horrible. His stories is for gullible. And you have to be mentally ill to believe in such a story. I want to say thank you all for being here. And I hope you can download the video and share it with your friends. Maybe I should give you a break, guys, from me because I'm coming every day. And I notice we have like a thousand something, 200 only. So we deserve better, don't we? So maybe I will give you a day or two break. Maybe three days. You know, let us see. Huh? Because, uh, you know, where are you? Maybe too much education. Maybe too much to spend in time with you. Maybe I should make a video of 15 minutes like many people do. Yeah. I spend my day with you. I spend my night with you. So I would like to see an appreciation. And you know, I don't care really for how view, how much of you. As you know, I delete my videos at the end. But I care for how many people learn. This is the whole point of the view. Otherwise, I don't care if I have a hundred thousand view or I have five people of you. I care for how many people are learning so we don't have a gullible, stupid people being fooled. All right? So invite your friends. So next time if I go live, I prefer, I hope, and even I, we change the time to make it fit with many people. So invite your friends and make us feel that our work is, you know, deserve. Uh, the time we spend. Remember, every time we spend, I spend here. I cannot take it back. I can go have fun, whatever fun means. But for me, this is way more important. So your children and you will be educated and nobody can fool you. I pray that Muslims will see our videos too. And they will notice that Islam is nothing but a fraud. There's nothing but fiction and stupidity. Nothing. I challenge any Mohammedan to say that there is something can be truthful in it, or what we showed you in your screen, the screen from your books. However, we have the living Messiah who no one can compare to him. If there is anybody can be compared to the Messiah? Never sin, never commit a crime, never proven to be guilty. He's alive. He heal. He forgive. He love. Even the one who crucified him. He raised people from death. He is a creator, which means he is the creator. He is living in heaven. He is coming back. And the Messiah has the best example for how a human being should be. And we know, we say we human are weak. We cannot be the same as the Messiah. But in fact, the Messiah, he come to this earth to say to you, I am coming to you in the form of a man. Yet I can live as God. So why can't you? Why can't you be a man and live holy. The Messiah come to teach holiness. Muhammad, he came to teach fornication. 
Muhammad, he just changed the names of crimes and sin. Fornication become muta. Fornication became marriage. Fornication with the children become fun. Fornication with boys and it's a promise of heaven. Fornication with your mother, it is allowed. In fact, in Islam, there is no penalty for having sex with your mother. In fact, in Islam, there is no penalty for having sex with your daughter. In fact, in Islam, they say clearly that there is no penalty for sleeping with your mom. In fact, in Islam, in the whole Quran, there is no penalty for rape. The fact that the Quran is cannot be the book of God, there is nothing there except fornication and encouragement of fornication. In fact, in the Quran, you can see you can be a pimp. It's legal. What is from God can be found from the Quran in the Quran. All what Satan did, he changed names of sin and he made them lawful. So when the Muslim he say fornication, don't think he mean what you mean. When a Muslim he says Islam is against fornication, against theft, against crimes, against crime of innocent people, he don't mean what you mean. Honest people in Islam is people who they are Muslims. Fornication in Islam, they are against it if you don't do it according to the Islamic law, which means you do fornicate, but do it according to the law. Rent a woman. Lying is lawful for them. Killing is lawful for them. Every sin is justified. That's what the devil does to every human being. With the Messiah, you cannot play that game. Crime are named as they are. Fornication, named as fornication. Theft, named as theft. There's no other meaning. Lying, named as lying. The Messiah, he don't sugarcoat sin. Muhammad, he does. In fact, Muhammad, he made it clear that if you say just the name of Allah 100 times, Allah erase your sin. Look how easy it is. Even if it is more than the foam of the ocean. As simple as that. Why a person who is coming to teach us good manner would say such a thing unless he is satanic? Promoting sin, trying to make us feel better, feel better about our sin. So just go and do sin. And then when you finish at the end of the day, just say the name of Allah 100 times. And your sin will be forgiven even if it's more than the foam of the ocean. How easy. You cannot do that with Jesus. You can say Jesus a billion time name, but still you will not be forgiven. This is not how the true God forgives sin. By saying his name by your lips, but you are dirty as dirt. That is not from God. God will never come with such a value, which is the value of the devil. It is impossible. You did not even say repent. You just say, say the name of Allah 100 times. 100 times. So all what you need to do, just say the name of Allah, Muslims, 100 times. And supposedly you are going to go to heaven. And think about it. Islam is more comforting for me in this case. Because now I will not feel guilty if I am sleeping around, killing, stealing. I just say the name of Allah 100 times. Oh, hold on. I just insulted Allah a billion times. And Muhammad too. All what I need to do. I will say the name of Allah before I sleep 100 times. And guess what? All my sin is forgiven. That how satanic Muhammad is. Do we agree? This is only a promise of Satan. You do not need to do anything. And the funny that Muhammad and they lie, they say in Christianity you can do everything. When the Bible says it clearly, liars, thieves, criminals, drunken, fornicators will not go to heaven. 
for sure unless they repent. This is your religion. In Islam, you can do everything. They lie about us. They lie about Jesus. They lie about the Bible. They lie about the Trinity. They lie to their children for a very simple reason. Their father is the devil who is the father of all lies. I want to say thank you all for being here. And until I see you soon again, Christ is Lord. Islam is a fraud. Invite your friends and join us next time we go live. And always you can join us in Patreon so you can be updated. You do not need to make any donation. You will receive an email from Patreon as soon as I post I'm going live because YouTube suppress my channel and don't send people notification. So subscribe in YouTube, subscribe in Patreon, whatever come to you first as notification will be good. God is good. So is Jesus. And see you soon again. Take care.